Well, hey everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day today. Today, I thought it would be fun to take you along to do a bit of thrifting. I want to fill some holes that I recently identified when I decluttered my wardrobe. So I want to fill some holes in my autumn and winter wardrobe. And then also there are a couple of things that when I go to Greece in a couple of weeks, I just know that I want to bring along with me and I don't have them currently. So I figured we could go thrifting for them. So I'm here joined by my sister today, Katie, say hi. Hi! <laughs> so she's going to be joining me and we're going to do a bit of thrift store shopping. It always feels like a bit of a treasure hunt whenever I go into a thrift store and it's always fun just to see. I love having an idea of what I want going in, but then it's just cool kind of seeing what you come out with. So I made a little board on Pinterest just to get a bit of visual inspiration for exactly what I'm looking for. And the biggest things that I really want to find are number one, some long sleeve shirts because I currently own like one. So I could really use a couple of those. Really would love if I could find them in some nice neutrals. Some athletic wear would be great too. I could really use at least one extra sports bra and some athletic tops, whether that's long sleeve, short sleeve. Generally I do like cr more like cropped shirts for working out in though what else I would love just like an oversized flannel that is just super snuggly and cozy and that I could just throw on whatever I'm wearing and then another thing is some comfy joggers maybe in like a green or a black or even like a kind of like a rust red color I just think that some like comfortable soft pants would be amazing and then the other big thing that I would love would be like a casual pair of shoes that I can wear in Greece I often when I'm going to be gone for a longer period of time I'm gonna be gone for a month I like just to like thrift a pair of shoes that I can wear and wear out during that trip so I'm thinking like a pair of Keds or Converse or something like that would be really cool so that's what I want to keep an eye out for as we go thrifting we're going to stop at Plato's Closet first we're actually in the parking lot right now so going to start there and then I believe there's an uptown cheapskate nearby and a Goodwill so might check those out too just depending on how we do so we're going to head into the thrift store now and we'll see what we fine. Our trip to Plato's was a success. We found some really cute things and were able to just check some of the boxes off of my wish list, fill some holes in the closet. So really excited about that. Now we're feeling a little bit snackish. So we're going to stop at Clean Juice and get ourselves a smoothie before continuing on to our next stop. First though, uh, I know I packed some hand sanitizer. <laughs> like the one thing about thrift stores is yeah your it's... hands always feel gross okay thank you is that too much a little bit that's there yeah just ah clean what is that smell it burns it's like lemongrass yeah i'm pretty sure that cheryl left it at our house so oh someone <laughs> brought it and just left it the other day yes. there. Mm -hmm. right so our hands are sanitized let's go get a smoothie So the smoothies are acquired. I ended up getting the longevity one, which has spinach, kale, apple, ginger, and pineapple, maybe a couple other things in it, but basically ginger and apple is my favorite smoothie combination and it just makes for like a really refreshing smoothie. What did you get in yours? I think I got the recovery one. Okay. It has spinach and kale and almond butter and hemp protein powder and I figured since we did a workout this morning it would probably be a good one. How does it taste? Good. Nice. Pretty good for a protein smoothie. <laughs> oh. <coughs> oh, gosh, I just <laughs> choked on mine. Okay well we're going to drive to Uptown Cheapskate now which is like two minutes away and enjoy these.
now the next day and we made it back from the thrift store just fine but it was getting a little bit late so I decided to save the haul portion of this video for today. And I was able to find quite a few things that are going to fill some holes in our wardrobe so let me show you what I got. So first up at Uptown Cheapskate I was able to find this sort of like sweater shirt blouse combination. It's just a really simple design but it's in a really warm kind of snuggly sweater like material and I actually really struggled to find some good long sleeve shirts and so I figured this would be a great option because it is in kind of like a cozier material which is great for fall. But then I can easily easily layer it with a jacket or something like that to really achieve the like versatility of some of the thinner long sleeve shirts that I was looking for. But I love the like beigey oatmeal color. I love the fit. I am all about a good cropped shirt because pretty much all of the pants I own and wear are high waisted. It's just always something that I look for. So I feel like it goes really well with this. I could even wear it with shorts if we did have warmer weather, but really this is a piece that I just see as something that I can layer with as we move forward with the seasons. Oh, wait, what? This is so perfect. Oh, I love this. It's like they were designed to go together. I haven't even tried this like combination on. Oh, look at those colors. So cute. Okay, wait, let's hope I actually wear this. Okay, so next up, I was able to find the flannel of my dreams. I love the idea of just like popping this on if you need something to feel a little bit more snuggly. If it's chillier at night, you can just throw this on over top of whatever you're wearing and it just adds like a fun, I feel kind of woodsy touch to whatever you're wearing. I love the kind of print of this flannel. I'm pretty picky about that kind of thing typically, but big fan of this. The color scheme is great. I literally didn't try to match but it just happened and it's also something that's really cute if you want to like tie it around your waist or something like that on days where it's maybe like a bit hotter you can just have this really cute then you can just put it on if you get colder at night it's perfect Do a little tie so fun okay so next up and i feel like this is just such a good find is this black pair of pants it's kind of in like a paper bag waist style or at least i think that's what it's called it's got a little a little tie action, a little just kind of like ruching around a high-waisted pant, but other than that, they're just really simple and really comfortable. I wanna say I tried on something like 10 pairs of pants when I was at the thrift store yesterday, and this was the winner. I love how flattering these are. It's been a journey getting to this point, but I really do feel like this is it, this is the pair. And I think it's perfect too, because while these are really casual and comfortable, they also kind of have, because of their silhouette, a little bit more of like a versatile feel to them where you can dress them up, you can dress them down, and really what you pair it with on top and with shoes is really going to impact whether or not it leans more towards the professional side or the casual side. So I'm really excited about them and I do feel like I really couldn't ask for a better fit or just like silhouette style in a pair of pants. It does feel really me. So this one is a little bit different. It isn't exactly what I had on my list, but I do think that it's still going to be able to fill that need in that wardrobe hole of just not having any long sleeve shirts. So this is kind of like an overshirt jacket situation. It was another men's section fine, but when I saw the color and the fact that it has a hood, I was just immediately drawn to it. I think it's going to be really cute, just kind of worn with like a t-shirt or literally even what I'm wearing now worn underneath. Maybe I could even pair it with a flannel just for an added cozy vibe, but I just love that it has kind of like a utilitarian, just casual look to it, but it's super comfortable. It feels very autumn to me, which is the look we were going for. It has, oh gosh, these amazing pockets. Look at this, oh, love that. And what's cool about this too is, so I got this in a men's size small. I think it's originally from American Eagle, but I got it in a men's size small, which is Christopher's normal shirt size. So when I got home from the thrift store, I had him try it on to see what he thought, if it fit him, if he liked it, and he loved it too. So the best part about this piece is it's literally going to be like in both of our wardrobes and we're just gonna share it. That doesn't happen for us all that often, but love it when it does. And I just feel like this is a really fun, casual, comfortable piece that is just going to be a great addition and a great layering option as we move into the colder months. So this next one is a piece that kind of ticks off two of my wish list items in one, and that's this kind of sports bra slash athletic shirt combination. It has a sports bra built into it, so that means I 
don't need to wear an extra sports bra when wearing it. But also, it's a cute workout top as well that I can just wear this with leggings to the gym and be set. And honestly, I could probably wear it other times as well because it's pretty cute. Love the little ruching it has going on. It's super flattering. And it has kind of like a little open back section a little tie, which I also think is really cute too. And this is another really affordable piece. I think it was like $6 and I love that it's a neutral too. I don't love standing out at the gym. I'd just rather like go in and do my thing and then get out. And so I feel like this just works on so many levels for me as an athletic shirt and just something that I can use and just not even thinking about it, just kind of add it to my rotation of athletic wear that I can work out in. So we've got our flannel, our pants, our active wear. Honestly, we were able to find so many items on my wish list. And last but not least, I was able to find one long sleeve shirt that I really like. This is just a simple gray long sleeve shirt and kind of like a marled gray. But a couple things that I really like about it and what kind of caught my eye is the fact that the fit on this thing is fantastic. It hugs me in all the right places. It's loose in all the right places and the length is great. It's just long enough so I can tuck it in without it being so long that you know, it's, I've got like a train going down to here behind me. And then I also really like the fact that it has a slightly wider neckline than your typical crew neck. And it has these kind of like vertical stripes in the way that the material is woven. So it just adds like an extra layer of detail and something you kind of learn when you're short is anything that has vertical lines just helps make you feel taller. So I feel like this just kind of is flattering in that way. So it's another really cozy piece, but I just feel like the fact that it's a neutral, it's comfortable means that I'm going to wear it a ton. And it's just going to be another winner that integrates well into my wardrobe. All right, well, those are all the pieces that I found from the thrift store. The only really big item that I wasn't able to find was a good pair of casual shoes. So hopefully I'll be able to find them before I leave on my trip. But I was really excited just to go out, to go thrifting. It really is kind of a fun experience. I think I said this at the beginning, but it feels like you're going on a treasure hunt and it's always exciting just to see like you have this idea and it's good to have an idea going in of what you're going to find, but it's always so fun just to discover kind of some hidden gems along the way. So if you go thrifting, just go in with an open mind and see what you discover. But I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me today as we went thrifting. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button to let me know you enjoyed it and want to see more videos like this. Subscribe if you haven't already for more simple and intentional living videos coming at you twice a week. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram too. I'm at ashlyn.eaton on there. We have an awesome community on Instagram and I'd love to have you join me. That's everything for today's video though. Thank you all so much for coming along with me. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.